All right, friends, I'm going to try to do a quick planner, I guess, update while I have the time. I'm filming on my toddler's little, um, like, craft table. <laughs> so if you see crayon or something, uh, that's why. Um, I have to double check. I'm so inconsistent with filming and posting. I don't even remember if I posted anything about what I was doing for planner lineup for this year. I know I recorded it. I just don't know if I actually posted it, but, um, I started out the year in an A5 Erin Condren soft bound, um, with the intent of making that like my main catch all and that that was going to stay at home. And then I was going to everyday carry a Hobonichi weeks um, I'm not very good at being in two planner systems or two books, um, especially when the sizes aren't that different, like um, a Hobonichi Weeks in height is basically the pretty much the same height as an A5, um, and they're both just significantly big enough that, you know, it was just, it just didn't seem like it was going to work out for me to be writing things down in one weekly planner and then writing things down in another weekly planner and then carrying that around with me. It's different if I was like, say, in a Hobonichi Weeks and, an, and a Hobonichi A6 or like in a Hobonichi Weeks and a Filofax Mini. You know, those are just two completely different sizes. And, you know, I, obviously one wouldn't have all the information. So anyway, it just didn't work out. So I stayed in my Erin Condren for all of January and most of February. And I didn't really touch my weeks too much. And then, um, I don't know. I just, I just ended up back in the weeks. It, it works really well for me. It's so much easier to travel with. Um, I got this cover from, um, oh my gosh. Am I drawing a blank? Oh, that's crazy. No teak. Wow, that was crazy. All I could keep thinking was at home with Quita because she has so many no teak planners. But I'm like, no, that's not what it's called. But this is the no teak. Um, this is their happy planner skinny mini um wallet size um, binder cover. And basically this is used to house the happy planner, skinny mini cash envelope system, or you can purchase it without the cash envelope system, which is what I did. And this was actually, um, like one of the imperfect ones. I honestly can't tell what was imperfect about it other than this is maybe like slightly off center, but Sometimes I think it's just depends on the way that the book is being held. It's really not that big of a deal. And then I think maybe the pen loop, but I'm not really sure. And it's not, it's, the pen loop is fine. This is just a five, um, a five, a high tech Cicletto with, uh, f five, uh, I guess barrel options. And it's just a little too thick for here. But I have my Pilot Vanishing Point and it fits in here just fine. I don't like to use the um, clip because I don't like to stretch the clip out. But it's, it fits and closes perfectly fine with the Vanishing Point. So the pen loop works. Uh, I would say the only thing I think I maybe noticed was that there's just this kind of, I guess, I don't know if you can tell how it's got this like little divot to it, but I'm not sure if that's not regular, you know? Um, so I don't know what the imperfection was. Um, this is my first time getting a Hobonichi Weeks cover, so I don't know. Um, so I guess I'll just do a quick little flip. It's not really much that 
goes on in here. I just have some stickers. Um, this was a Starbucks order that I did that I really liked. So I just stuck it there. Um, this part I don't really use too much. I just started using it and I just have it marking my travel dates, I guess. And then for here, I just have when our property taxes are due and then I highlight the days that I work out, which as you can see are not very many. But the reason I started doing this was because I needed to see like a broad overview of when I was working out because I feel like I work out all the time because I'm constantly moving because I'm always cleaning or running after my toddler or just doing something. And so um, having it actually marked off, let me see that I wasn't really doing anything at all. Um, and then I also started keeping note of my steps. I do have all my steps from the beginning of the year. I just didn't go that far back. Um, I started really paying attention to it about mid-March. That's when I really started making a goal to try to hit at least 5,000 steps three to four times a week. Um, and now I'm trying to get to 7,000 steps. So that's basically what I track here. And I might also start tracking my cycle. I just might circle in red the days that I'm on my cycle. Um, but other than that, I wasn't really using this up until like today. And these are just, like I said, the property tax stickers. Um, so I'll flip through my monthlies. So as you can see, January is very sparse because I just didn't use it really in January. February is kind of when I picked it back up. This is March. I don't really do a whole lot when I'm planning in my monthlies. Um, a lot of my monthly stuff goes into my Google calendar, but they pretty much match up the same. I just keep track of my work schedule, which is highlighted in olive green. Um, my friend's birthdays, any appointments that I have or that my sons have, our paydays, um, important deadlines, things like that. And this is the current month. And, um, I will keep my, you know, my four goals down here. I'll make any notes that I need to make in the margins, but I don't generally like decorate too much. Um, I find that I decorate the most in the fall. I'd like the fall. So I've already started putting some fall stickers down. November is my birthday month and I'm turning 35 this year. So I went ahead and put some cute little stickers in there. Okay, and then I will flip through some of the weekly. So I didn't use it. Um, oh, so that's the other thing too. I didn't have this Hobonichi Weeks in December. I had the, um, it was like a periwinkle blue color and it was the soft kind of like bendy floppy cover one. And I gave that to my best friend, Juliet. I never, I didn't use it. I hadn't written in it or anything. And I knew that I wasn't going to be able to be in both the Erin Condren and the Hobonichi Weeks at the same time. So I gave that to her and she absolutely loved it and ended up buying a Hobonichi Weeks for her mom. So that was pretty exciting. But what I ended up doing was I ended up getting the bunny cover because I'm now a bunny mom. And um, I love this bun cover. And my four leaf clover bun is on the spine. <laughs> He's just hanging out there. He's so freaking cute. So here, I think this is supposed to be another four leaf clover bun, but um, it's kind of like cut off. And then there's my bow tie bun. He's up there. He's up here. Um, let me see. I think, where is that? Yeah, I can't tell if that's the, I don't, I can't tell, but yeah, I love this cover. So it's really cute. So um, when I did get this, I ended up just kind of using this page to pen test. 
I just very recently got into fountain pens. I got into my, I got my first ever, um, like I would say like big girl fountain pen in December. My husband bought me this Twisby 580 Diamond Iris for my, uh, for my Christmas present. And, um, so, and I have a plethora. <laughs> I've got a Pilot Vanishing Point in extra fine. I've got a Twisby Eco Rose Gold in extra fine. Um, and then I have the Twisby Mini Rose Gold. I have one in medium and extra fine. I have a Caveco Parkeo in fine. And then I have a Sa Sailor Shikiori. Um, this is the Cherry Blossom. And this is a fine nib, which writes like an extra fine. Um, I would say this writes like an extra fine and that writes like an ultra fine. Um, and then these are my highlighters. And then, of course, my pilot. But I was pen testing, trying to get the hang of using um, a, a fountain pen in my weeks. I don't necessarily love the way, like, these look because you know, for certain, you know, a week's is kind of narrow. So I need to be able to fit a lot in sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. And I just didn't love the thickness of the lines, even on some of the, you know, not all nibs are created equal. So like, uh, this Mahjong is supposed to be an extra fine nib, but it does not write like an extra fine nib because my, um, my pilot pen, like I can show you. That is my pilot's extra fine versus the Mahjong's extra fine. So it's just different. And even like this sailor is a fine nib, but this is even a thinner line than that. But I also realized that Hobonichi paper kind of widens the line a little bit for whatever reason so yeah <laughs> uh so I'll just continue to flip here because I don't want to take too long um so there isn't really any specific layout that I use um I kind of used I kind of I think I um, ended up backlogging a little bit in here I'm not really sure yeah I think I did some backlogging in here because I wanted to keep note of this week especially because I got a lot of car maintenance done this week so I did I did want to keep note of some of this stuff and then also I think I kind of just came in here and just uh wrote some things out for like memory keeping and things like that um and then same thing some backlogging do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, oh, this is like, so I was keeping notes in here on um, like how much I was writing every day. I was, I had written it all down on like scrap paper and had written the, the dates and all that. And so I decided to move it over into my Hobonichi so that I could have, you know, just a centralized record of how many words I was writing for my novel. I was like tracking it and then I stopped tracking it because I realized that that wasn't necessarily a healthy habit for me to do. It was good to see like how much, how productive I could be in a certain time period, but it was also kind of um, creating unhealthy habits for my writing process, but I had written some notes for my book. This is kind of just, a uh, nothing happened really this week as far as like my writing. Cause I wasn't, I, I wasn't really using the planner to like plan anything. I did keep some notes of when my son got sick and again, like chapter stuff, book stuff, Just some notes, some notes on others like Hobonichi Week style planners that I was interested in. And then this is when I really started. This is when I moved back in. Um, so 
I was kind of trying to give a little bit of like the Lindsay, um, Lindsay Scribbles layout, which I realized that it, it doesn't really work for me and it's not very necessary, but it is cute. Um, I'm more so kind of just wing it. <laughs> I'm a wing it person. I just write notes and to do's and I decorate when I want to decorate and I don't decorate when I don't want to decorate and what gets used gets used and what doesn't doesn't um so and I honestly I like the way that that looks it's ideal for me so as you can see some weeks can end up being pretty blank and some weeks can end up being pretty full sometimes I have a lot of notes Sometimes I don't have any notes. Um, it just really depends on what I have going on. Sometimes I may put things in different colors. Sometimes I don't. I just try to have fun with it and enjoy what I do. Enjoy using my planner. So um, this is just a... Um, Weekly compass card from Franklin Covey. Um, I just kind of found a stack of these and I wanted to use it again. And then I kind of had the idea to just implement it into the grid page. So for next week, I just wrote down here my sharpen the saw and my rolls. And then just left this section for my notes because there's like that natural demarcation line. So I was like, oh yeah, I could probably fit a weekly compass in there. And um, I really like the way that turned out. So little by little, you know, things start to come together. Um, this is the current week. I'm just keeping track of, you know, my son right now. He's having some respiratory issues. Um... Yeah, and like with tasks and stuff, sometimes I check them off, sometimes I don't. <laughs> you know, my planner does what I want it to do for me, and that's all that really matters. Um, back here, I keep track of the days that I read. Um, there, some of these days, um, so I kind of forgot to keep track of an audiobook that I was listening to. So I'm probably missing days. I just don't remember the days that I listened to that audiobook. Um, so that's fine. Um, but I do have, I am keeping track of all the days that I am reading or listening to audiobooks. And then in the, um, my 100 list, I'm just keeping track of all of the books that I'm reading throughout the year. I, I have a reading journal where I write like my reviews and stuff, but, um, I just wanted a place in here to put all of that. Um, so that's what I'm doing there. Um, and that 365 day is because this is the English version. And then I think I have, I do have some notes pages back here. Um, I just have like my goals for the year. These are my quarter one goals. I did a little recap, um, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four business ideas, this is my son's list for pre-K. He's starting pre-K in the fall. So this is everything he's going to need for his classroom. And that's basically it. I don't really use the grid pages back here a whole lot. I thought about getting a week's mega, but I honestly really just don't use these pages back here a whole lot. I do a lot of my brain dumping in a separate notebook and I like it that way. Just because sometimes I'm just sitting at my desk or doing something and I just need to like brain dump and write messy notes and I don't like doing that in my planner so yeah that's that 